Dr. Jaffe, one of our customers writes in and asks if you would discuss cysteine protease enzymes and their impact on the novel coronavirus. Um, any question about the novel coronavirus is timely, of course. Um, in regard to the coronavirus, in regard to these sulfur or cysteine sites, and there's a specific enzyme. It's ACE is the acronym. And this is a uh, kinin family enzyme that's on the surface of cells, including the cells that line the lungs. And kinins are a very important source of physiologic regulation of blood pressure. So this cysteine containing uh, enzyme, catalyst, very specifically converts bradykinin into active kinins. Bradykinin lowers your blood pressure, kinins raise your blood pressure, and the idea is to keep a physiologic balance so that you stay in the middle. You stay in what I would call the Goldilocks zone. Not too low, blood pressure should not be too low, not too high, it should be just right. Now curiously in regard to these respiratory viruses, including the corona family, they like to dock, they like to connect, they like to attach at this uh, ACE2 cysteine containing enzyme. I don't know quite why, but others have observed over many years that this is the case. So it becomes even more important from this point of view to follow our guidance about having enough cysteine, which means sulfur foods and certain specific supplements. The high sulfur foods, of course, are garlic, ginger, onions, brassica sprouts, that's broccoli sprouts, and eggs. In addition, if you want to keep those sulfur molecules active and healthier, then you'd want to have ascorbate. And the fully buffered, fully reduced L-ascorbate sets the oxidation reduction potential that's a very important physiologic parameter that only ascorbate regulates and controls. When you have enough ascorbate, you have a healthy low redox potential, and that helps protect your respiratory mucosa because the docking of the coronavirus with that cysteine enzyme is enabled when the redox is high, which makes you vulnerable, and that means you don't have enough ascorbate. So we do recommend the C-Clans or however you decide how much ascorbate to take. We always recommend the fully buffered, fully reduced L-ascorbate. We recommend a wide variety of foods, but especially those with lots of sulfur, the G-G-O-B-E, if you will, acronym. And then there are a few other things that are really needed, including magnesium, whose uptake is enhanced with choline citrate. So sometimes I even say magnesium choline citrate as if that's one. It's actually capsules of magnesium salts and teaspoons of the liquid choline citrate taken at the same time based on your morning urine or the urine after six or more hours of rest because that's the one time during the day where the urine fluid equilibrates with the lining cells of the bladder and gives you a meaningful measure of whether you have metabolic acidosis or enough magnesium. And so when we talk about chronic illness largely being enhanced or even maybe caused in some cases by metabolic acidosis, what we're really saying is a diet that has a deficit of magnesium and maybe other beneficial minerals. And so we do recommend uh, increasing your magnesium with choline citrate based on the urine pH. The healthy range is 6.5 to 7.5 in which case you would need a dose in the morning and a dose in the evening. That would give you 440 milligrams of magnesium. It would give you 1300 milligrams of choline citrate at each dose. And it turns out that choline deficit is another endemic problem in people at risk of ill health. Because choline becomes acetylcholine in the brain. That's a soothing neurotransmitter that helps you calm down and keeps your mood stable. Cholinergic bile salts help get the toxic matter out of the liver and make the bile more fluid. And then choline and inositol are actually modulating molecules at the surface of cells. 
So not only do we need the magnesium and have it uptake enhanced with the choline citrate, but we benefit from the choline and we benefit from the citrate, the citrate being a Krebs uh, salt, that is, it's a counter ion to magnesium that energizes and alkalinizes. Sir Hans Krebs, who identified the Krebs cycle where the mitochondria derives the ATP energy, that is the work molecule of the cell, was the one who pointed out how important citrate is as a counter ion. That was many decades ago. And we have learned from him directly and from others to produce all active supplements all the time. It's a new generation. And we've been here for over three decades with this new generation of tabsules, all active things that look like tablets, but are all active components that are beneficial for you with no binders, fillers, flowing agents, glue, schmutz and stuff that often creep in to typical production routines. So um, glad to address a very important question and then how to do as an individual, as a consumer, as a client, how to make sure that you have enough, that you don't have metabolic acidosis. And if your pH is below 6.5, you add one more dose for every half pH unit. And without making people into biochemists, I'll just mention it's a logarithmic scale. So if you start at say seven and you go to six, that's tenfold. If you start at seven and you go to five, that's a hundredfold. So small differences in urine pH have major consequences for cell physiology. And we were among those who were able to point out this non-invasive way, just once a day, that is after six or more hours of rest, because the rest of the day, there are perhaps up to two dozen different variables that influence urine pH when you're up about an active. But restorative sleep and six hours of rest, and yes, you can go to the commode, you can go to the bathroom, you just can't go to the kitchen or the gym. So follow that guidance to know when you are at risk of cell acidosis, which means magnesium deficiency. And I'll just mention that you need one molecule of magnesium for every ATP molecule for the ATP to work for you. You need that magnesium to keep what's called the proton gradient so your battery, the mitochondria, doesn't shut down. You need magnesium to activate many catalysts and enzymes in the body that are only activated and are activated by magnesium. So as Mildred Selig often said, when in doubt, take magnesium. 